going on dudes ghost here and welcome back to walking dead season one this is part four if you remember uh we wasted a lot of time uh saving a girl who was already bitten uh she killed herself uh and all that uh carly pressed us about knowing who we are and whatnot i don't really trust her that much uh but on the good the good news or bad news however you want to look at it uh we made it we got the keys to the pharmacy which is this door right here uh, and now we're about to save Larry's life, I guess. If you guys want to see and want more Walking Dead, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get negative. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. What? What happened? The episode just started. I'm confused. What's happening? Chop off that lock. Stay away from the windows. All right. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Now is not the time. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Bruh. I should know what? That I should know. Shit. Oh, shit. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit! Oh. Okay then. I'm a hot red in the head. Timotai, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong. Am I playing a Timotai now? Oh. Timotai, did you find anything? Nothing. The window. That actually is oh. real useful right now. Oh, good boy. Fighting mash. There you go. I found something. Oh, the, the dad's king. There you go. That's gonna break some. <laughs> Duh, you are a dumbass. Uh. Oh, good lord. Uh, saved up, uh, how do I, okay, I chose to save Carly. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 get up, no, not the kid, stop him out, there you go, run, there you go, wait, what the, bro, you're tripping, I knew there was something suspicious about you, but wait, what the? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Oh, I was about Especially to say. Especially a good friend. Thank you, Kenny. 
Bro, Lee, move. I knew Larry was on some other. Bro, Larry, I am on your head today. I really want to give you the benefit of the doubt, but no. Now that I think about it, Lee's the only black guy that got left behind. Is Larry racist? Clementine, you better move. Why are pilot? Alright, whatever. We really lost Doug, though. Oh man, Clementine, it was so. I feel like I should have saved Doug after Carly tried to press me last episode. But whatever, we're out. And we. Let's talk to everybody. Can I talk to Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta. What are they saying? I think I need to go. Columbus. It would left. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Not like we have much to begin with. Are we really gonna... I remember when I packed them up. I don't know how to feel about this. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect it. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. So we're really two men short. Doug just died and Glenn uh, is doing his own thing. I respect it, but at the same time, we're in the middle of an apocalypse. Did you check the glove box? Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. Kenny's a real one. Especially after... Knocking me after Larry done knocking me senseless. Where is he actually? I want to fight him. Actually, I want to speak to Carly if I can. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. We... It happened pretty. I mean, we could have. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, I understand too. Everything we could be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Ooh. Okay. 
Pay attention the way you leave things. Let's check on the kids. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought it's super tired and You! Toast. I don't rock you with you. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. So? It can't really help us. But, I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. No, bro. Let me go deal with this. I don't trust you. What do you want? Oh, like my daughter? What? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? Oh, so you know too. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Okay. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? What do you mean mugging me for? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. He should be. After you got Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Well, so much for light. <laughs> Do we really have to save Larry, though? This man really just, I saved his life and he's out to kill me solely because he knows who I am. Next time on The Walking Dead. Oh, is this the end of part one? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we There's too many of them! You all thought Duck was bit? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. What's it happening? Right. No more, please. No more, please. Please. <laughs> Episode two, Star for Help. This is mad. What is happening? Oh, these are the choices I made. My monitor is in the way. Hold on. Uh, I got an achievement. Everything. What'd that say? Anyway. Uh, honesty. Light to Herschel. You and 54% uh, were honest. Uh, Duck or Sean. You and 52% uh, of players chose Duck. Uh, side with Kenny. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to side with uh, Larry. I didn't mean to do that. You and 46% of. Players sided with Larry. Uh, get 
Mercy give Irene the gun. You and 40, 47% of players gave her the gun. Uh, you and 49% of players chose Carly. Oh boy. Rest in peace, Doug, man. On the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got out? another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I'm not worried about Larry. I want to fight you, actually. You've been pressing me since I've been here. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. We're four episodes in. I'm already knowing. Am I about to whack somebody? Oh. I thought it was a random. That's just a, just a zombie. Damn it! Who's that? How'd they get this time. Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <laughs> <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. It's been three months. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, yeah, some people we'll aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's a racist. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Right? Almost got me got. <laughs> Almost got me got. This shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Where'd they even find a sniper rifle? Ah! 
worried. He got caught Jesus in a bear trap. Christ. Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We we'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. You. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. Dead now. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. All right, thanks hurry, for saving please, him. Hurry. Uh oh. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Is he, uh. is he gonna make it? Yeah, my boy, that, that light gotta come off. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Get Sorry, me. buddy. Ah. Sorry, buddy. I got it. Cut you out. One more time. Ugh. I think he's out now. No. Oh, Ooh, I hope you don't die from blood loss, my boy. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. David. Oh, he passed out. Okay. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move! What happened? You don't move? Oh my god. Yep. No! Yep. Pretty much, that pretty much sums up this game. Man, it really ran into a rock. That's not funny, but them zombies were extra fast when he when Travis died. I might be tripping, but that's what I saw. Episode two, start for help. Tripping or did Clementine get a little bigger? Where did they find guns at? That's what I want to know. No one's answered that question. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, God. What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? 
We are not responsible for Bro, every smuggling ask for your survivor opinion. we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, Ooh. no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Talk to her, oh, Penny. come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, Thank you, Kenny. once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, Stop being please. a... Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Why don't you go be useful, sir? Hey, build like an eggplant. What? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. We only have four items of food for ten hungry people. Oh, no. I think I've already come to a decision already, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm gonna have to end it here and let y'all know what my decision is next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you get, if you guys like to see and want more Walking Dead, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, episode two, we're making progress in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later. No,